Get your glasses up, get your glasses up, a toast to the men. Welcome to a Toast to the Men Network with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for the support, thanks for the time, thanks for the energy you've given to the channel. Welcome, 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 toasters. Um, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've did a video, probably a week and a half, two weeks, and for good reason. No excuses, only reasons, for good reasons. Uh, myself and my, my staff and cast have been uh, producing, recording, filming, and wrapping up uh, the movie Perfect Match. It's a movie... Uh, I wrote a movie I produce, and uh, man, we did a great job. My first film, and it went well. So super proud of that. I want to thank everybody involved. So be on the lookout for that. Right now, we're in the editing stages, and so it's probably going to be wrapped up and, and ready to uh, do what we do with it. We've got a whole rollout plan, how we're going to market it and uh, roll it out and shop it. Uh, it's probably going to be wrapped up and, and packaged probably in December. So yeah, be looking out for that uh, to actually come out next spring or summer. Perfect match. It's a comedy drama or drama comedy, a dramedy uh, in the vein of Rush Hour, Money Talks. If you can go way back, way back, stir crazy. So it's in that vein, that energy, that vibe. And in, uh, I'm proud of it. But as I was recording, as we were recording, filming, I was like, wow, this is, uh, and I knew, I knew already, but it was confirmation. I was like, yeah, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, from the writing to the, uh, the producing to co-directing, uh, I can say I did some co-directing. My, my guy, Carlo, was the, uh, the A-side director or the main director, but uh, I, I can say I, I supported him in directing because I wrote it, I produced it, so I knew uh, what I wanted it to look like. So um, I did some co-directing. But when, as I was doing this and going through the process, I felt right at home. And I always feel right at home when I'm telling stories and screenwriting is telling a story. And it was easy for me. You know, people ask me, man, what did you do what steps did you take to uh, to do the screenwriting, to, to, to write the movie? And I did a little research on, on what it took to um, do a screenplay or screenwriting, um, but it was just in me, you know, it just felt natural. Um, I knew what I wanted to see, I could visualize it, and I just put it on paper. And when we actually got on set, you know, it was easy too. I knew what I wanted to look, how I wanted to look. I knew the camera views I wanted. Um, I knew where the supporting cast want, needed to be and uh, the positions they, they needed to take. I knew the energy, the vibe, the tone. It just came kind of natural to me. Not kind of natural, it came very natural to me. Um, but I was just like, wow, this feels really at home. Even when I was writing the book, you know, A Toast to the Man, a few years back, that felt right at home. And uh, I've been writing since a child, you know, people can write, many people can write, right? But many people are not writers. Yeah, I'm a writer, that's my calling, uh, I'm a storyteller. And so when I was doing this film, I was like, wow, this feels at home, and this is my ministry. It just, it hit me, like, and I've been knowing, but it was confirmation. Like, storytelling is my ministry. So whether I'm storytelling through, uh, through writing or uh, verbalization, uh, you know, that's my calling. That's what I'm here for. That's my ministry. That's how I give back to society, to the world, to the universe. And as I go along in this journey called life, you know, you discover, I discover that many people do not know their ministry. And uh, many people are, are in the wrong ministry. And so every ministry is not for you. And so you say, what is a ministry? A ministry is something that you're gifted with. You're, you're, uh, 
you, you've been assigned to do. And it actually comes natural to you. It comes easy to you. Where it may not come easy to others. It comes easy to you. And it just flows out of you. And it's when it, you're at your highest self. The highest vibration. Where that ministry really shines within you. It comes out. It illuminates. Um, I think a lot of people don't know their ministry because they're on a low vibration for whatever reason, you know, life, life's troubles, trials and tribulations, uh, low self-esteem, distractions, uh, being unfocused. And so they can't really sit along and pinpoint and be with themselves and learn themselves or just be honest with themselves and say, this is my ministry. This is why I'm here. Um, but everybody has a ministry. Everybody here on earth has a ministry. I don't care, man, if you, if you have Down syndrome, uh, you know, uh, if you're a short person, you know, and you know what short person means. We can't say the other word now. But um, whatever the case may be, um, if you're a burn victim, if you were born um, with, with no limbs, well, whatever the case may be, you have a ministry. And I believe if you don't hone it and, and, and work on that and give back to society what that ministry is, I believe you got to come back. Yeah, I, I believe you got to retake that test. You know, you got to retake that class. And I've always said life, you know, is a school. It's a school for learning and teaching. And, you know, it's not punishment. You just got to retake it, you know, because you're here for a purpose and it's bigger than you. Somebody needs to hear your ministry. Somebody needs to see your ministry. But we got to sit with ourselves, just be honest with ourselves, have take on the, the armor of confidence and say, this is my ministry. This is what I'm supposed to be doing and move forward with it. And uh, that's what holds us back a lot of times, the lack of confidence, uh, the lack of assurance. But we got to be assured that we're here for a reason. We're here for a purpose. And that is bigger than us. Get out of your own way. Get out of your ego. It's bigger than you. You're here for a purpose. And uh, not only to learn, but to teach through your ministry. Now, this is, when I say ministry, I'm not talking about anything religious. No, um, it's spiritual. This world is spiritual. And so whatever that is, man, speaking to women, speaking to men, speaking to young men, young women, singing, writing, uh, teaching, um, as a primary, everybody's a teacher in a sense and a, and a student in a sense, but teaching as a, a primary uh, uh, gift or, or talent, um, whatever it is, man, uh, you may be compassionate to the sick and shut in that, uh, that most people cannot, you know, exercise. So, I mean, there's a wide range of things, man. I could go on and on, but we got to start being honest with ourselves, having those talks with ourselves and, and actually exercising and uh, sharing our ministry, our gifts, our talents with the world. But yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to share. As I was producing this movie, making this film, man, it was just confirmation, like, wow, I'm on the right track. And like I said, I've been knowing storytelling is my thing, but it's bigger than writing. It's bigger than writing. I can story tell through, through movies, through film, and, uh, you know, other ways, too, through uh, speaking engagements. And so uh, learn yourself. Be honest with yourself. Put on the full armor of confidence and, and, go, and go get it. Go get it and then share it. Let me know what you think, Toasters. As always, from me to you, love. Peace.